Some physicists believe this precise calibration of forces is evidence of God. Dr. John Polkinghorne did pioneering work on the quark, a fundamental subatomic particle. He is also a knight commander of the British Empire, a sir. And after a lifetime of distinguished scientific inquiry, he was inspired to follow a new line of work. John finds it difficult to imagine that the fine-tuning of our universe has happened by accident, that there is no divine hand behind it. This fine-tuning makes it clear we don't live in any old world. We live in a very particular universe. And why is that? Why are we so lucky? Of course, religious belief offers you a very straightforward and attractive explanation. But scientists are split over whether this balance of forces is a sign of intelligent design. In fact, it could be nothing more than a roll of the cosmic dice. Dr. Alan Guth is a revered figure in cosmology. His theory of inflation is the accepted idea of how the early universe formed. Inflation says that right after the Big Bang, the universe expanded phenomenally fast, doubling in size a hundred thousand times in just a fraction of a second. Inflation helps explain how the world we know could have come into existence. But inflation has another head-spinning implication. There ought to be more than one universe. An important feature of this process of inflation, what tends to happen is it stops in some places and those then become universes, and elsewhere in what we now call a multiverse. Uh, the point is that if there really is a multiverse, uh, we would be living in just one of these many pocket universes. That could be, for example, our universe right there. Each of these pocket universes could have different laws of physics. To Alan, our universe is not carefully crafted by a divine being. It's just a lucky roll in the cosmic crapshoot. shoot. 